Hey guys, welcome back to Mike's RC Corner and we got a running video today. What a gorgeous day it is outside and we're gonna run the Smasher version 2. It's already out there ready to go so let's get a move on. Alright guys, hope everyone's doing well and we got some fantastic weather. Finally, we've had a stretch of five days where the weather's been great and things are starting to dry up and <clears throat> we got a gorgeous day today hitting in the 70s here in mid-April. So we got the Smasher version 2 here, I uh, got the battery all charged up and uh, it has this radio that comes with it and it I believe it's a more basic radio than the original release and then there was another release of radio batch that had more dip switches and whatever and now this is the version 2 and this is the radio that comes with it and basically you have your bind your reversing of your channels steering trim you dual rate and uh, we have a third channel here and this is how we engage the high low speed on this so let's uh, get this thing going here for a sec and we're going to put her out in low gear to start so the button is to the left here and as you can see we are in crawl mode uh, this spot right here is where my little 12 foot pop-up pool goes so it's kind of mounted down um, we'll come back here in high gear but we're going to take this over to the crawler course okay so this has been uh, really washed around quite a bit so I had to revamp and dig up some stuff uh, the course got rain soaked pretty good and snow soaked with the melt but uh, we're ready to go as we got these uh, chevron monster truck tires on this guy and we'll see how we can do try and get this up it goes pretty good it actually crawls pretty decently with these tires, surprisingly. Uh, it's got a real good brake on it. The drag brake on this thing is really good. As far as uh, climbing and all this, this is a very heavy RC for this scale. Uh, and it doesn't even have like a lot of, it has a lot of plastic linkages on it and stuff. The hard body gets the CG up pretty good but uh, all in all it's good if you get it going especially on the downhill you're not controlling it will tumble over but we're gonna baby it here and we're gonna get it down the slope and you can see we can stop it there ain't anything we get off the throttle it stops which is good the weight of it even though it's fairly heavy won't keep it rolling and so we can control the momentum so that's pretty cool and uh, this thing climbs pretty good with these tires obviously it would climb better with other tires but if you want to run this more in the fun mode with the high speed mode which we'll get to in a second and then uh, do some trailing or whatever with this you can do it so keep that in mind i have to work on making that a little bit of a smoother entrance there but as you can see she does do good but these bigger tires do tend to find the crevices and kind of wedge their way in but so far so good so pretty pleased with that and uh we're going to take it over on that dirt spot and the grass put her in high mode we'll see how that goes now there's a middle kind of click to this switch if you do that then the transmission is totally disengaged and it'll just spin if you throttle now we've put it in high speed and now we away we go as you can see it's pretty bouncy uh the shocks are friction right now and uh if you really want to start tuning it you can uh, put some oil filled shocks in of course and i would see a lot of people doing that now I have never owned the original one so I can't speak to what the big uh, version 2 upgrades all about but uh, it runs pretty good and uh, this is definitely the fun mode if I was to hand it to my kids they would want to run it like this and bring it around 
tumble around. Now I remember watching videos on the original one and people were doing like these endos. So it doesn't really work here too great on mine. You can do some wheelies, but you gotta do full reverse and full throttle and then you can catch it right if you time it you need a more flat spot than this patio stone there we go and of course it's a hard, hard body and you can hear the scrapey scrape as it goes so all in all this is a pretty fun little rc um i'm debating what to do with it leave it as is with these tires or put crawler tires on of course it wouldn't be the end of the world to switch them over but you need probably a good five ten minutes to crank them over if you want to switch them out back and forth but uh we'll see how it goes so guys thanks for tuning into this i give this a pretty good thumbs up um it's a real looker and kind of get that uh monster truck bigfoot kind of look that's kind of cool uh tremendous amount of detail in here the portal axles all these kind of stuff great support fms and you know there's going to be more releases more things to do you can even maybe get some parts from the other releases that they have and uh, put them on here especially like the tires maybe some upgrade shocks if they come out later so all in all it's all good so guys thanks for tuning into this hope everyone's doing well of course peace take care and we'll see you soon on the next one